Hello everybody and today I'm going to show you how to use the Universal VLS 660 uh, laser cutter uh, etcher uh, that we have in the class here. So uh, one of the first things that we need to do is use the UCP or Universal Control Panel and that will be located like this little icon here. Now I have some stuff set up. The interface that I'm about to bring up is actually a little bit smaller and slightly different than what's going to be on the screen connected to the computer uh, with the VLS. Uh, one of the reasons is that the license can only be installed at one computer at a time. So I downloaded basically this little bit of a trial just to show you how to works in some of the functions. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on that it brings it open. I already have an image here. So I'm going to show you basically how to import an image that you're going to be cutting for your designs. Yours may open up to a blank screen or it may open up to a different screen. I'll show you that screen now. You're going to go to that little icon up on top. I'll show you again. So right up over here, little file folder, click on that. You're going to go to import and you're going to look for your file. We can use a direct import of PDFs on the computer that is attached to the laser. I cannot with this trial version, but I can show you basically almost everything with it. So I'm going to do this DXF file right here. Hit open. Uh, you may not have to do this one unit equals one inch and it just goes through a couple of the settings here. I'm going to hit OK. Yours may ask you to sort vectors. There'll be two options that should be checked. Sort vectors and I forget what the other one is. Make sure both boxes are checked. Hit close and there's your image. Now once you have the image here, it should show up as a red line. Red lines means that it's cutting. Blue lines means that it's going to do a vector etch. Black would be a roster etch. Whatever the case may be. Here is our panel. On the one connected to the computer, you'll have a power button here. The green, this, uh, when lit up green, will tell you to run it. Pausing. These are jogging the machine or the laser into position. We can home it, the X, Y, and Z axis. Those are the basics. Then we have the functions here. This is magnify or zoom into view. So when left click, brings it in, right click out. Focus view. This one, so we can actually bring the laser into a position on the bed. Moving whatever image it is. So I can click, move it here. I can click the green dot, oh, sorry, the blue dot in the center, move it that way. You can also type in the position. So if I want it an eighth inch away from the edge, I can do that as well. That's bringing it into position, or move it out. This is the pattern feature. So I can pattern in the X, Y direction with a certain distance between, hit apply, there's our pattern. Probably what we're gonna use more than anything else to cut out our masks. That and also bring into view. Then there is also a simulated run time. So based on this design, I click that, start. It calculates that would take 17 seconds to cut those four shapes. Remember the laser is really quick. Those are the basics of what we're going to be using. There's a couple of others, such as system, which we're not going to have to worry about. Diagnostic, same thing, we're not going to worry about. We are mainly concentrated in the viewer. There's one other spot that we can look at, and that's within settings. Here, there's a materials database, which we do not have, oh, which is available here. So I can say, hey, this is rubber. Well, actually, let's go to natural. And then we could say, um, let's see leather paper mother of pearl right these are all different types we also have let's see let's just go to a simple one fabric and we will go to denim notice it puts in a bunch of settings we can pick the material thickness hit apply and okay what that does is it sets the settings or system up for what we want to cut what you will be doing, depending on the number of layers that you're cutting, is going into settings here. And you will increase probably this thickness. Now for denim, one layer, 0.025 is fine. If we're going to double up and do two layers, 0.05. Four layers, if we're going to double that. I would stick between, oh, so it's telling it it's for this laser, we're exceeding. We're just going to hit yes anyway. We can actually go up to 0.09. We can probably go thicker. Remember, this in the demo here, this one's only a 25 watt laser. We actually have a 60 watt laser, so we can go quite a bit thicker. But in any case, uh, you can always ask me what thickness you should set it for. But 
the default that we use is 0 0.025 one layer is fine. 0 0.05 for two layers. Hit apply and okay. That is pretty much it. That is how easy the UCP is to use. Also, you do not have to load this every time. You can click the back button up here to run through the number of files that have been loaded up. And you can see there's a different one there. So that when it comes time to actually going back or reprinting or sorry, recutting your fabric, just hit that back right and left button and you can find your old print job. That's pretty much how to use it. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, swap computers. I'm going to go over to the Universal, show you how to set it up from there. And uh, that should be it. All right, so I'm going to be back in a second at the printer or at the cutter, sorry. Okay, everyone, so here we are at the Universal Laser, the little station we have set up. So the laptop's here. It's connected to the laser itself. So you can see the laser there. We have a couple of things you can open, all right? and close it by there. It will not run unless that is closed. It'll pretend to run, but it'll just show a red dot. Also here, we got this cabinet that opens and closes. We may have to open and close that to load the material on here. Speaking of loading the material, what we're gonna do is, right, we have our axes right there or our stops. Usually, we can either iron out the material outside the machine to get it nice and flat. Uh, we may have tried to do it inside the machine as well, but we want to keep any extra material that we don't want off past this bar right over here. So it's there and there. That is for the most part pretty much set up. It runs on the gantry, as you can see there, over and out. So we're pretty clear of anything. The machine should be set up for the correct Z height regardless of the material we're doing. So we're not gonna worry about that. I might show a tutorial on that another day. But that is basically how we set up the material up in the machine. Then we come over and we're going to go find that little icon right over there. Click that. And there we have it. It's brought as we brought it up. So now this is a previous file that we had run. And I'm basically just going to cut the one square to show you how it works. So when you open it up, this is what you're going to see. Usually it's set to the last job. And like I said, we can click the up or left and right to go into previous jobs. Now that we have that one up, we can go look at the settings. So actually I'll show you from start to finish here. So let's look at the settings and we can see we're on the 60 watt and down over here, we can change that material thickness. So we're at two layers, so 0.05 is good. Okay, up over here is a number of different settings that we don't need to worry about. The defaults are usually pretty good. So we hit okay. Now it's there. I'm going to turn the machine on. Machine's on, running. You can hear the fans kicking on right there. And then we're also going to come around to the side over here and turn the blower on. That's the switch there. That's for the fume extractor going outside over there. And now you can hear it like that. Notice the red dot is on. That means it's in a safe mode. We're good. When I close it, Red dot goes away. So now, at this point, notice arrow is little. The play button is green. We are good to go. What I'm going to do is I don't want to cut all of these. So I'm going to go to the pattern and let's just do the one by one. Hit apply. I can see how fast that's going to run. Seven seconds to run that, and we'll set this up over here. Oh, let's go to that. All right. Play button is right up on top. I'll set this here so we can see it. Hitting play takes a second. And there you have it. That is cut. Okay. If you're going to be cutting a bunch, you can leave the machine on. You can technically leave the blower on. I just don't want to hear it. Turn it off. We're good to go. Open up. Now, it should have cut all the way through. Sometimes, if you have like this little bump, it won't. But there you have it. Cut. Perfectly out. Fabric, templates, 
Um, I've done up to four layers pretty successfully. I'm gonna be trying eight and up, probably sometime today, and I'll let you know how that work out. But that, now, is your template all cut out. Just like that, with a little square. All right, so that is your basic tutorial, how to run it and get to go. Turn it off right there. Notice up on top, it says 18 seconds was the runtime for two copies. I don't know. I think it was a lot quicker than that. And that's it. Nothing else there. All right, people. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial on how to use the Universal VLS 660 with the UCP. Take care.